Hello everyone, my name is Nurul Fakira Binti Rosli. I'm first year from School of Physics, majoring in Geophysics, and I will be the presenter for this video. Hi everyone, my name is Nur Adriana Najla Binti Mawad Zambi, first year students from School of Physics, majoring in Geophysics, and I will be the editor for this video. Hello everyone, my name is Patin Adila Binti Mawad Zambi, first year from School of Physics, majoring in Geophysics, and will be the scriptwriter for this video. <laughs> Video, did you know what it is? I bet most of the people across the world know what it is. Yes, it is smartwatch, or specifically Apple smartwatch. The first Apple watch launched with Apple in 2015, and this product has gone strong to strike, adding a wide variety of much requested features. Do you know, do you know how Apple Watch works? Apple Watch works with an iPhone, therefore Apple Watch won't be useful to purchase for you if you and Android. Basically, you can wear your Apple Watch all day long and it will pair with your phone to give all devices additional functionality. Besides, the Apple Watch has a lot of advantages such in your notification and enable and you receive a text message. Your Apple Watch will display it. Without pulling your phone out of your pocket, you will be able to see that you have received a message and read at least the beginning of it. Similar notification can be shown for emails, WhatsApp messages and other apps. You can also listen to music, podcasts, and audio books. Besides that, you can also read news, send and receive text messages, use text, and Apple Pay. Apple, uh, Apple Watch are excellent for tracking for data as well. Very low watch for engage, engaging in an activity which enable you to keep tabs on your performance and fitness, whether you are a runner, swimmer, or just a sports enthusiast. To provide you with comprehensive information on your performance and fitness, the Series 7 also includes heart rate and blood oxygen tracking apps. Do you know Apple Watch also has its own needs and advantages? Such as, you will obviously need an iPhone to start using the Apple Watch. The inability to configure an Apple Watch without an iPhone is a significant drawback. An iPhone must be connected to the watch in order to link an Apple ID. Even using Mac, Apple TV, or iPad, the watch is not an option. Only the iPhone can use the Apple Watch app. Apart from the notification, an Apple Watch can also be overwhelming because you also use your phone to check your daily life. Apple Watch also need regular charging every one or two days. Apple Watch also are not convenient for a phone call because it's not comfortable to hold it in your hour wrist to your ear while talking. Conclusion: The decision to use an Apple Watch ultimately comes down to personal preference and how it complements to a person's lifestyle. Some individuals consider it to be a helpful tool that enables them to keep tabs on their health, track their fitness objectives and keep in touch with their loved ones. Others could consider it to be a waste of money or a violation of their privacy. Electric and magnetic fields are used by the Apple Watch for a number of purposes including wireless charging and heart rate monitoring. In terms of electric fields, the Apple Watch charges its battery wirelessly through a magnetic field created by an alternating electric current flowing through a cord. In terms of magnetism, the Apple Watch employs a magnetometer to identify the magnetic field which is used for a number of features like compass, functionality and wrist movement detection. Additionally, the heart rate sensor or the rear of the watch employs for the photo Plethmography, which is based on the interaction between light and magnetism, to detect changes in blood volume utilizing LED lights and a photodiode. In conclusion, even though the Apple Watch depends on electric and magnetic fields to function, users should be aware of any potential health hazards and take the necessary safety measures if 